Within the remote Kimberley Plateau of Western Australia lies one of the most fascinating and complex geological structures on Earth, the Spider Impact Structure. This fascinating formation with its distinctive radiating faults that give it the name Spider is a truly unique looking impact crater. The Spider Impact Structure was first identified in the mid 20th century, though its true nature remained unclear for some time. Between 1953 and 1957, during the geological mapping of the Kimberley region, geologists noticed an unusual circular formation in aerial photographs. Initially, the structure was ambiguously marked on maps with the annotation, glacial structure with a question mark, due to the nearby exposure of tillite, a type of sedimentary rock formed from glacial debris. It wasn't until later, in the 1970s, that the structure began to attract serious attention. Originally, it was suggested that it could be a diatreme, a volcanic pipe formed by explosive volcanic activity. This hypothesis led to further fieldwork, including visits by researchers from BHP in 1977. The discovery of shatter cones, distinctive conical fractures in rock that are typically associated with impact events, provided the first strong evidence that the spider structure was not volcanic, but rather the result of a meteorite impact. In the years that followed, further investigations, including remote sensing, geological mapping, and the use of satellite data, solidified the understanding that the spider structure was indeed an impact crater, albeit one that had undergone significant erosion and deformation over the eons. The spider impact structure is located approximately 8 kilometers west of the Han River, on the south central Kimberley Plateau. The structure itself is approximately 13 kilometers by 11 kilometers in size, or 8 by 6.8 miles with its central region dominated by a unique system of radiating thrust faults that extend outward from a central sandstone dome. This pattern of faults, which resembles the legs of a spider, is what gives the structure its name. The geology of the spider impact structure is complex and multi-layered, reflecting the various stages of its formation and the subsequent geological processes that have shaped it. The target rocks at the impact site are primarily shallow marine sandstone and siltstone, deposited during the Paleoproterozoic era in what is now the Kimberley Basin. The oldest rock unit exposed within the structure is the Wharton Sandstone, a mature, medium-grained aronite that may be up to 500 metres thick in some areas. This sandstone is overlain by the Algae Siltstone, a succession of siltstone and mudstone with interbedded sandstone layers, and then by the Pentecost Sandstone, which is a mature, quartzitic aronite. The entire sequence of rock units has been deeply deformed by the impact event and subsequent tectonic forces. One of the most striking features of the spider structure is its central uplift, a dome of Wharton sandstone that rises above the surrounding terrain. This uplift was formed during the impact event, as the immense energy of the collision caused the rock layers at the centre of the impact site to rebound and push upward. Surrounding this central dome is a system of imbricated thrust sheets, Imbricated thrust sheets are overlapping slices of rock layers that have been pushed over one another along thrust faults, typically forming during compressional tectonic events or impact-induced deformation. The spider legs, which radiate outward from the centre, do so in a bilaterally symmetrical pattern. As a side note, if you're enjoying this video, please click the like button to help YouTube recommend it to others. Consider subscribing and clicking the bell icon to be notified of when we upload. We also have a Patreon if you'd like to support the channel, only if you have the means of course, and you can find that both in the description and in the pinned comment down below. When geologists first began exploring the spider structure in detail, they were struck by the presence of a peculiar and fascinating feature, shatter cones. These cone-shaped fractures, which can extend over a metre in length, were found embedded in the quartzite rocks of the central dome and surrounding thrust sheets. Unlike any other geological formation, shatter cones are a unique and telltale sign of an impact event, formed under the extreme pressure and shock of a meteorite collision. The discovery of these shatter cones at the spider structure was a significant breakthrough. Their distinctive conical patterns, which fan out from a central point like the flaring of a jet, told a story of unimaginable forces at work. The intense shock wave generated by the meteorite impact had passed through the rock fracturing it in a way that only a violent event could produce. For the geologists studying spider, these shatter cones were a definitive piece of evidence, an irrefutable marker that this remote area had once been ground zero for a cosmic collision. As the investigations continued, the story of the spider impact structure grew even more compelling. 
In addition to the shatter cones, another crucial piece of evidence emerged – shocked quartz. This rare and microscopic feature is created only under the intense pressures and temperatures of an impact event. The quartz crystals in the spider structure bore the telltale signs of planar deformation features – tiny parallel lines within the crystal structure that can only form under the extreme conditions of an impact. The breccia at the spider impact structure is a crucial indicator of the intense forces generated by the meteorite impact that created the structure. Formed primarily within the imbricated thrust sheets and central dome, this breccia consists of shattered rock fragments cemented together by the extreme pressures and temperatures of the collision. As the meteorite struck, it fractured the local sandstone into chaotic pieces, which were then reassembled into breccia by the heat and force of the impact. The presence of this breccia, along with other impact indicators like shattered cones and shocked quartz, provides clear evidence of the violent processes that shape the spider structure, and confirms its origin as an impact crater. The formation of the spider impact structure is believed to have been the result of a moderately oblique impact by a meteorite or asteroid, with an angle of impact estimated to be between 10 and 30 degrees from the horizontal. The impactor likely approached from the north and struck the Earth at a high speed, releasing an enormous amount of energy in an instant. Upon impact, the kinetic energy of the meteorite was converted into heat and pressure, causing the target rocks to behave like a fluid for a brief moment. This led to the formation of a transient crater, which was much larger than the final structure. The central uplift, or dome, formed as the rocks at the centre of the crater rebounded upwards in response to the impact while the surrounding material collapsed inward, creating the imbricated thrust sheets. The unique radial pattern of faults observed in the spider structure is thought to be the result of both the oblique nature of the impact and the pre-existing geological conditions at the site. The structure lies across the axis of the Mount Barnett syncline, a broad east to west orientated fault in the Earth's crust. The presence of this syncline likely influenced the formation and orientation of the faults during the impact event contributing to the asymmetrical deformation observed today. To clarify, a syncline is a type of fold in rock layers where the strata dip inward towards a central axis, forming a trowel-like structure. The spider impact structure is not only a breathtaking geological formation, but it also provides valuable clues into the processes of impact cratering and the deformation of the Earth's crust. The well-preserved and visible radial faults, or spider legs, are the most fascinating part of this impact structure. Whilst radial faults are commonly formed during asteroid collisions, the obvious and visible ones at this crater give it a unique look that isn't seen, to my knowledge, in any other impact crater on the planet. If you watched the last video I made on the possible undocumented impact crater in Western Australia, you'll also find an array of radial faults there. This is also seen in the Spider Crater, giving it more of a possibility that it is indeed an undocumented crater. I'll leave the link to this video in the description. Furthermore, the spider structure offers clues about the history of the Kimberley Plateau and the broader region. The impact event is estimated to have occurred between 900 million and 610 million years ago, during a period of significant tectonic activity. This timing is constrained by the Yampi Orogeny, a major mountain building event that affected the region around 900 million years ago, and the deposition of the Walsh Tillite, around 610 million years ago, when this region was covered by glaciers. The impact occurred before these ice sheets had formed. When this event took place, the impact likely occurred in an already existing syncline, suggesting that the region had undergone significant tectonic deformation prior to the impact event. The deep erosion of the spider structure, which has exposed the central uplift and removed much of the original crater, further indicates that the Kimberley Plateau has experienced considerable geological change over the past several hundred million years. Despite the extensive research that has been conducted on the spider impact structure, many questions remain unanswered. The exact age of the impact, the details of the impactor itself, and the precise sequence of events during the formation of the structure are still subjects of active investigation. High resolution geophysical surveys and drilling could provide more detailed information about the subsurface structure of spider and help to resolve some of these uncertainties. Additionally, the spider impact structure serves as a natural laboratory for the study of impact cratering processes, particularly in sedimentary rock targets. The knowledge gained from studying the spider crater can be applied to other impact structures around the world, as well as the impact cratering processes on other planetary bodies. Whilst it's highly inaccessible, the spider impact structure is perhaps one of the most fascinating craters to have ever been found. 
I've never seen anything quite like it in my years of nerding out over impact craters. It truly is a unique and remarkable structure. I hope you enjoyed this video on this captivating impact site. I'll put a link in the description as always to the papers used to construct this video. Consider subscribing if you'd like to see more videos like this one, as I have a whole list of craters that I intend to cover in future videos. Thanks for watching. Are you interested in animals? I've just started a second channel called Paleozoology that discusses extinct and extant animals with a current focus on the megafauna that once dominated and roamed Australia. I've released a video on the marsupial lion which existed in Australia during the time Indigenous Australians walked the continent. I've also covered the wombat that was the size of a car, known as the Diprotodon, or the largest terrestrial lizard known as the Megalania. I'd love to have you along for the journey as more videos are released. You can find a link to this channel and to the aforementioned videos in the description and in the pinned comment in the comment section. Before I end this video, I'd like to give a big shout out to my Patreon and YouTube members. Thank you so much to everyone that helps to support this channel.